Okay, hello and welcome. My name is Andy and I want to show you in this video how you can synchronize your Google account, contacts and calendar with Thunderbird. In the past I used G Contact Sync, however it's not no longer working with the current version of Thunderbird and there's a new plugin called TB Sync and I'm going to show you how to install the plugin, configure it and then synchronize it with your Google account. Everything I mention in this video, you can click the link below in the video description. There is a link to our blog and there's a blog post about everything I want to show. Uh, I will show here in this video so you can read everything here in the blog post. Well, let's get started. I have started Thunderbird and the first thing we need to do is install the plugin. TB Sync. Well, we can do that uh, in the add-ons section of Thunderbird. Just search for TB Sync here, hit enter, and it show, should show up. And then just add it to Thunderbird. It and well, it has been added. Close the add-on manager, and after the installation, there's a new icon here in the toolbar. TB Sync. Well, click on that and. This is a TB Sync account manager where we can set up our synchronization accounts. The first thing we do is account actions, add a new account, and then select CalDev and CardDev. When you first click it, there will be a message that you need to install the provider. This is just another plugin to support CalDev and CardDev. So just click the link below. We will jump again to the add ons section, add to Thunderbird. Okay, add, add, and now the support for CalDev and CardDev is added. After that, we reopen the account uh, manager for TB Sync, and then we click again on account actions. And now you again select CalDev and CardDev. Notice that the icon has slightly changed. In the server profile dialog, we need to select Google. But if we scroll down, we don't see any Google. We see iCloud, we see Yahoo, we see some other providers, but no Google. That's because TB Sync no longer supports Google account synchronization officially. So this needs to be activated in the extended settings. So we just hit cancel, close the account manager, and then we go to the options page of Thunderbird. We scroll down till the end. Then we see this button here, the config editor. This we need to open and um, there's a warning message. We need to accept the risk. And this is, um, here we find all the set settings uh, of Thunderbird. And now we have to add a new setting. Well, I pick it up here in my blog post. So where are we? This is here. Now we need to create a new Boolean value here. I just copy this one here. That's the name of the uh, of the new config item. Switch back to Thunderbird and just right click here, select new and then new Boolean. That's important, new Boolean. Okay, enter the preference name. I just copied the value. Just make sure that you have um, the correct value. Extensions.daw for tbsync.google support and this needs to be set to true. False, true, needs to be set to true. We close it and now we close Thunderbird and restart Thunderbird. So after that, we open again the settings of TB Sync. Close everything here, open the settings, account actions, Again, create a new account, CalDev and CalDev. And now Google shows up. Fair enough. We hit next and then we can enter account name. This is just a name which will show up later. I leave it to Google, hit next and then log in to your Google account. Okay, now I'm logged in with my smartphone and my Google account. And now I have to grant access to contacts and calendar. And that's it. Now we have finished the account creation. The account name is Google. Everything is fine. And so we just have to hit the finish button. Synchronization is not done directly after creating the account. We first need to enable 
and synchronize this account. This will then update the list, read all the calendars I have, all the contact lists I have, and will show it down here in this table. So I can select, for example, I want to synchronize my address book. I can set up read only or server write permissions. For example, if I have write permissions and I do local changes in Thunderbird, these will synchronize back to Google. I select, uh, well, I select my address book and uh, my calendar and then I just hit synchronize now and the synchronization should start right now. Now it's synchronizing. First the address book, then the calendar. And you can also set a periodic synchronization. You can either do it manually. If you open the settings, just hit synchronize now, or you can set up a periodic sync, for example, every 60 minutes or so. Well, we are done now. Uh, I close the account manager. And if I look in my calendar upcoming the next five days, well, I see my calendar items from Google as well as if I look in my address book that my contacts will now show up. And well, and that's it. That's uh, how you can synchronize your Google calendar and contacts with TV Sync. That's all. That's all I wanted to show you here. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave me a comment. And you can also have a look to our blog post. Link is below in the video description. And thank you, thank you for watching. Goodbye.